Hey there, it's Nabila with Mailman. And in this video, I'm going to show you abandoned cart automation and how you can send cart abandonment emails very efficiently. So let's get started. In Mailman, you get three triggers for abandoned cart automation. The first one is for cart abandonment. The second one is for cart lost. And the third one is for the cart recovered. So let's have a look at them one by one and I'm going to show you how you can utilize these triggers using some different type of emails. First, let's talk about the abandoned cart trigger. So basically, when you go to your WooCommerce automation in MailMint, you'll see the trigger abandoned cart. Now, if you click on it, what you're going to see is three options. The first option is all products. The second option is choose products and the third option is the choose product categories. So if you choose the first option, which is the all products, what's going to happen is whenever a customer abandons their cart that contains any product from your store, then this trigger will be initiated. So basically this uh, all products option is for all the products from your store. Okay. Now the second option is the choose products option. Now what's going to happen is if you select specific products in this field, uh, you can send specific email series whenever a person abandons their cart that contains the specific products that you selected here. Now, let's say you're adding a product cap in this choose product option. Now, if your customer has the cap included in their cart when they're abandoning the cart, then they will be sent the email series that you create in this automation workflow. Similarly, we have the third option, which is the choose product categories. Now, in this case, if you select a specific category here, then this trigger will be activated whenever your customer has something in their cart that falls under this category that you select here. Now, if you select any of these and leave the field blank, then by default, uh, this abandoned cart trigger will be triggered for all products from your store, all right? Now, let's say I am selecting all products. So now what I am going to do is uh, add a delay to it. So let's say I'm going to add a time delay, which is 30 minutes, all right? So for this case, whenever my uh, customer abandons a cart, then after 30 minutes, the first email will be sent to them. So let me show you designing a first email, all right? So let's say I'm going to write it here. Let's say now I'm going to design my email. So let's use one of the abandoned card templates we have. So I'm going to use the first template. Now, in this case, you can see in this template, you can add your uh, company logo here and then you can change the image if you want and then what's going to happen is you can add the cart items here so to add this short code you can go in this option and then if you select on cart you'll see two options here the first one is items the second one is the recovery url so basically if you select the cart items then this short code will be updated so i'm just gonna edit this and that's about it and in the button you can add the recovery link so basically in our pre-made template the recovery link is automatically added but if you want you can change the text the color that matches with your brand right so basically i'm going to click on next and you'll see that my first email is saved and now similarly you can send the other emails that follows up with the first email so usually an abandoned cart email series contains about four emails now for the second email you can send it after six hours from the first email and in the copy you should give a persuasive reminder of the card they left behind now on the third email that should be sent with a coupon offer for completing the purchase and that should be 24 to 48 hours since the purchase and finally on the last email there should be some fear on missing out on the card being discarded plus it should contain some coupon expiry date and that should be after three to five days since they left the card behind now you might be wondering what if my user purchases in the second email 
and in the third email you're sending them a coupon they might get angry right but no if your customer is purchasing from the second email you send then the whole abandoned cart automation workflow will stop for that customer and they won't be getting the third or the fourth email you're gonna send them so that's very efficient right now here's how the whole automation workflow will look the cart loss trigger after running your email recovery campaign if the customer still hasn't come back and didn't complete their purchase and also the saved cart is no longer there in that case the cart is considered to be lost and there's no way that the buyer can come back and complete their purchase now for this case the specific trigger will be initiated in this case, you can send an email to your potential customers that they missed their chance to redeem the card and now they can look into other products. You can also add a coupon inside of the email so that it encourages them to purchase other products on your store. So here's an example. automation trigger we have is the cart recover trigger after you've set up your recovery campaign and one of your customer purchases through that recovery link then this trigger will be activated now since you've gotten your potential revenue what are you gonna send to your customers after the cart is recovered for this the follow-up emails you send to your customers after the cart is recovered should start with a thank you email after that, you can send them a few emails recommending some highest sold or the most popular products from your store. You can also add a coupon inside of it if you want so that it encourages them to purchase more from your store. So that's it. Here's how you can use the abandoned cart recovery triggers in MailMint for WooCommerce. Now, you can use the pre-made templates we have or you can also use the pre-made automation recipes we have for you to save your time and effort. All you have to do is design the emails that matches your brand style and you'll be done. So if you're using the abandoned cart recovery campaigns for your business, let us know in the comment box how you're doing it. I'll see you in my next video. Take care.